you ever said good about everybody or bad about anybody? Well, I'm going to tell you a story that happened long ago in a jungle. Once upon a time, there lived a mighty lion king in a jungle. He ruled every piece of land that light touched. In his kingdom, all the animals were very happy. But his minister, the tiger, was jealous of the respect and power that the lion king received. He always tried to spin tales and spread vicious rumors about the king and his friends, the monkey and the elephant. But the other animals in the kingdom could not pay heed to him. Once, when the lion was away from the kingdom for long, the tiger decided to take advantage of the situation. He conspired against the king and his friends and turned the animal against them. Soon, the entire jungle was in chaos and all the animals started fighting with each other. The monkey said to the elephant, We should do something about this. We should let our king know. He must return immediately. He called upon the robin and sent word to the king. You must fly so high and find our king. Tell him he must return for our kingdom is in pain. The robin sailed high and low and found the light. Chirped the message in his ear. When the lion returned, he could sense that something was terribly wrong and how the animals disregarded him. Something is not right. I need to find out what's wrong. Let me check with my friends. He was very indignant when he learned the happenings. He knew that the man behind the curtain was the Tantri Mantri Tiger. The man summoned the tiger and inquired, I hear that you have been spreading vicious rumors about me and my friends. Do you have anything to say about this? This the tiger said, You must I am a humble and loyal minister. How would I do this? How could you suspect me? I, I, I have always followed your footsteps and ensured that peace prevailed in the kingdom. The lion was not convinced and said he could teach the tiger a lesson. I order you to go around the kingdom and pick up dry leaves. Once you have a sack full, you meet me. Tiger replied, As per your order, your majesty, Tiger gathered most dried leaves and brought a sack full to the king. The king took the tiger on a stroll around the jungle and said, Now throw the dried leaves up in the air along our path. To which the, king, the tiger promptly obliged. Once the bag was empty, the king decided to return and said, I order you to collect the same leaves that you scattered around the kingdom. The tiger was shocked to hear this. Oh no, Majesty, how could I ever do that? It's tedious and, and it's impossible. Please spare me. The lion said, You see, it's equally impossible to collect the spirit words. All of us are given choices in life. We choose our path and words wisely. We do not use them to ruin one's reputation. Tiger realized his mistake. He bowed his head and said, Pardon me, Your Majesty. I have committed a sin. I have been jealous and selfish. I promise that I will devote my life for the betterment of his kingdom. The lion pardoned him and all the animals rejoiced to see this. All of them lived happily ever after. Hope you enjoyed it and remember the lion said, We should choose our path and words wisely. Thank you.